What have you um, What have you got lined up for us today? Dirt mud <laughs> videos. What could go wrong? <laughs> oh, oh, that'll be neutral. Hey! <laughs> Look where we're going. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what are we doing? Whoa. Whoa. Just wheel spinning up the road. Oh, I've got cramp. Oh, I've got cramp on the leg. Ow, ow, ow. Hey, speedway. all the thorns and everything. <laughs> Jeez! Whoa! <laughs> it's all the thorns, they just appear at eye level. You're like, ooh! I could shut the visor right enough, but it gets too hot. <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> you just got to paddle your way through. Whew! Too knackered to talk. <laughs> I'm a little bit warm, folks. <laughs> this is incredible what these bikes go through. Can't talk, knackered. That was great fun. <laughs> Genuinely, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> the key to it is just relaxing and letting the bike move underneath you, but that's easier said than done. You feel it slip and you automatically want to tense up. <laughs> yeah. That was mint, wasn't it? Brilliant. Bloody What a bigger bike. God no. Oh man, <laughs> it would just slide into the first ditch, wouldn't it? Do it, folks. That is such a giggle. Sorry. Warm though, warm. <laughs> Woo -hoo. The old cockpit cams ran out of battery, so uh, you're just gonna have to put up with this POV point of view for those of you not in the trade. These poor tyres. Why, Jesus. <laughs> I feel so sorry for this thing. <laughs> right, lunch time. See you in a bit. Right, we just had a spot of luncheon. Sorry I didn't get it on camera, but um, I was ramming up a get down my throat. We are in... I don't actually know. Nathan, where are we? Coombe Martin. Coombe Martin. It's alright, isn't it? Not bad. That's this lot. What was that muddy lane all about? Uh, that's a good one. That's a good level of lane. That. And what I like about that is it's it's a cha very challenging lane and engaging, but it's safe because you're going slow. So if, if anybody does have a, a topple, it's it's all right. So I quite I quite like that. So it gets everyone sweating and hard work and <laughs> satisfaction without the risk of killing. Them. I was puffing like a yeah. like someone that was puffing a lot. Like a Scotsman in a rucker suit. That's it. Like a twenty stone Scotsman. <laughs> In a Just suit. seeing what the bike was sweating like. Oh, yeah. Those bikes, <laughs> seriously, those bikes are insane what they put up. There's tires. I can't believe I'm not blowing a tire out. No, I can't. That's the hardest working. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> it's the hardest working 36 psi. <laughs> Is that why Bruce had a reserve bike? Because it had more pressure in the tire. <laughs> to get. The solid, the solid tire, solid rubber. <laughs> we did have to put extra air in Bruce's rubber. You all right, mate? How are you finding it? Mucking fabulous. <laughs> Enjoying yeah, it? Fantastic, yeah, brilliant. Yeah, the bikes on those lanes are just superb. Is that the first time Good you've fun. done this? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Has anyone yeah. done it before? 
No? I was behind I was behind you, Greg. Yeah. And your back wheel was just sliding everywhere. I must admit I did try and throw a bit of mud over your camera lens you at did. one point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was great fun. I think I've popped the off-road cherry properly. <laughs> I enjoyed that. Good that fun. Is proper off-road, but is that? If anybody says that's not off-road. If, if any of you arseholes out there are going, that's <laughs> not off-road. <laughs> that was off-road. Give me a break. <laughs> right, what's next? More off no, actually, uh, less off-road. We're going up uh, Valley of the Rocks, Hunters Inn. Um, Valley of Lindworth. the Rocks. Valley of the Rocks. Happy days. It, it is quite literal. It is a Valley of Rocks. <laughs> it's your bike. <laughs> no, it's tarmac. <laughs> so I'm sorry, we're not going over the rocks. Right, bring it on. My little vixen. Stand up and sit down on it again. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, alright, Nathan. Alright. I've got feelings, you know. Do it. Yeah. It's easy, isn't it? Easy. <sighs> I'm gonna be ages, my linings come out my glove. Let's see a review on it. Oh, man. The shit, don't buy them. Alright, fed and watered. Time to go and play. Nobody's <laughs> gonna wheel it. I got that on camera. <laughs> oh no. Lying stalled. Whoa. Whoa. Right, let's go. Come on, Vixen. Choo choo. And we're off. You can do it. being last. Come on. Why is this so much fun? Oh, this camera's off. Why is this so much fun? I've no idea, but it is. What an awesome day. What an awesome, awesome day on a bike. Great fun. Getting the slipstream. Tucking in, tucking in. I'm about as tucked in as Jabba the Hutt in a onesie. <laughs> what are crossings? Yes! Yes! We've done everything. I am Ewan McGregor. Ah, after several visits to McDonald's. This will be the Valley of the Rocks. I wonder why it's called that. Oh, that'll be neutral. <laughs> you are kidding me. <laughs> this is insane. Is there anywhere that these bikes can't go? This is brilliant. <laughs> I guess fun in games. A little bit squirrely, I think they call that. Ah, just got a bush in my beard. Cheers. That is absolutely incredible. You see why Nathan took one of these on his trip back from Sydney, don't you? That they literally go anywhere. They just keep going. They just keep going. I think they're like 90 odd kilograms, so if you drop them, it's easy to pick up. Or if you're going through the mud like that, slipping and sliding, you can quite easily catch it just with your legs out of the side. Guess the old pulse going though, I'll tell you. Ford. Not quite. Come on, Ivor. I'm loving this. It just feels like a real adventure. Right, we've got the Insta 360 1X2 on the back of Greg's bike, and he's gonna 
get a bit of footage of me riding on a posty bike so you can see how ridiculously small this bike looks with me on it. <laughs> Off we jolly well. Whoa. <laughs> yes, people, I do look this ridiculous. Now, I can't get too close because there's no brakes. Oh man, I genuinely love this. Beside the seaside, beside the sea. Yeah. Apparently we are now heading to Valley of the Rocks. That wasn't it back there. We're heading to it soon. And then I think we're going to Linmouth for a wee cup of splosh. And then we'll do one more little wee bit of green lane in before we head home. What a cracking day. If you fancy a bit of this, folks, make sure you get online and go to Dorothy's Speed Shop. Just Google Dorothy's Speed Shop. I'll leave links down below. Check out the vid description and you can be here having a bit of this and some of that. Honestly, can't recommend it enough. What a giggle. Just a giggle. It's a little bit toit. I go. I put my foot down to the side and there was nothing there. <laughs> I had to find the, the fence post. Ooh, look at that! Big hoist. This is where I have to lean forward because I think if I lean too far back, I'm just going to wheelie. Oh, that's not that's not blinking anymore. Oh no! Does that mean that's not working? Oh, the 360 camera I don't think is working. What a nightmare! Why is that not working? Thank you. Wow, look at that over there. Oh, wow. <laughs> Woo Brilliant. Linton. I knew this was, I knew I recognised this place. This is Linton. Stayed in a lovely B&B here once. Oh. <laughs> Up to you. Awesome. I want one. <sighs> it weren't recording. I don't think it was. Right, you know how we were going to have the 360 footage on there and you're going to see me on the bike. Well, um, didn't quite work out. I'll try and sort that for the next bit. So we're having a cup of splosh. Hey, starting recording. Bosh, that's what we want to see. Flashy red. In a sense, you know, you should have spotted that where it flashed in there. Generally, it always is user error, but I like to blame the tech. Sync them up. One, two, three. Jolly good. Tally ho. Um, yeah, th this is the audio, and that'll have audio, and you just look for the peak, and then might match up the both peaks. Yeah. I want one of these on the GS. Start on the GS, yeah, baby. I'll be there all week. Hiya. Right. Oh, right. The 360, I think, is working now. I'm sure you will not be uh, surprised to hear that it was user error on my part that that wasn't working before. The SD card was full. I had forgotten to format it, and it was set on photo rather than video. Nationals! Not a chance. So we're now heading to go and do a couple more lanes on our way back to Dorothy Speed Shop. We just had a wee break there, splosh break, and had a chat with some GS riders, best bikes in the world. A couple of GS boys all, well, three GS chaps turned up, so thank you very much, gentlemen, for coming over and having a chat. I'm glad you're enjoying the channel. Look at this. This is lovely, isn't it? Reminiscent of being back in Spain or 
parts of France. Lovely. Lovely. Do you fancy one of these little bikes then, folks? Would you do it? Would you would you pull the pin and buy a little CC bike? Ooh. Oh, blimey. This is a lovely road for these bikes, actually. You can keep the old momentum going most of the time. I wonder how the old X2, the 1X2, is going to cope with... It's fairly dark along here, I think. Hang on, I've got a tinted visor. Let me have a look. That's actually not too bad. Light levels are not bad. Fluctuating quite a bit, though, with the tree cover, so it'll be interesting to see how the footage copes with that. <laughs> this is brilliant. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Every now and then you catch the edge of the tiles. <laughs> Whoa, breakings. Come on. Come on, get ahead of steam up again. Come on. Come on. I'm trying to keep the weight over the front, otherwise I'm just going to flip this bike. <laughs> Hiya! 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 One, two, three. <laughs> do that, do that, put that up, switch that over, pre-flight checks. Yeah. And off we jolly well. Yeah, welcome back folks. I'm sorry you missed that. Hopefully you could see what that was like on the 360. In fact, you're there on the 360 at the moment, hopefully. So hiya! It is astonishing what these bikes put up with. What a day, what a day. Loved it. If you've enjoyed this, folks, make sure you give Nathan a shout and book your place. I think it's 140 quid for the day. It is so worth it. It is such a giggle. But if you're not that way inclined to take your pride and joy down some of these sort of places we've gone today, then why not do it on one of these? These bikes are just perfect. They go everywhere. And it's something new. If you've never ridden a bike like this before, this is something new. The way there's, you know, no clutch lever as such. <laughs> it goes all quiet now. These tiny little tyres are just getting absolutely hammered down these paths and they just do it no problem at all and it can't help but improve your riding really your confidence and you get used to the bike moving underneath you it's great fun i feel like i've had a real adventure today great giggle <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> Oh, that was mega. Love that. There's <laughs> nothing to this off-road lark, is there? Right, where are we going? Back to Sydney. Typical. Now the GoPro works. Now I'm home. Ugh. Mate, awesome. Right. Loved that. Loved it. Fantastic. Great. Hi, Bruce. What did you think of that? Uh, I am exhausted after that. <laughs> <laughs> Shattered, but what a brilliant day out. Absolutely bloody fantastic. It is, isn't it? Yeah, I'd done things today I didn't know I could do. <laughs> but I am knackered. It does push you out of your comfort zone, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just can't wait to see the footage. Oh, but yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll Hopefully the cameras were working. <laughs> Hopefully. After the fun with your Insta earlier. <laughs> oh, man. Absolute pleasure. Cheers, Yeah, both. thank you, Bruce. Gents. Brilliant yes. day, worth every penny. Yeah, 100%. What more can we say? Exactly, yeah. Happy days, coming back? Yeah, definitely, definitely yep. will do, yeah. Beautiful, see you then. Yeah, will do. Great what did day. you think, Andy? 
Awesome. Yeah, absolutely superb, awesome. Yeah, yeah, amazing what they can do, the bikes. It's absolutely yeah. stunning, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, These little yeah. things. No flat tyres, no punctures, nothing. Just amazing. I yeah, kept seeing it on camera and then I kept thinking, I'm going to regret that, I'm going to get a puncture. <laughs> but it never happened. Right, folks, that's us back here at Dorothy's Speed Shop. This is Nathan, Nathan Millward. It's oh. famous, don't you know? Famous. <laughs> Nathan, what is Dorothy's Speed Shop all about? Oh, yeah, Speak up for the camera. Uh, it's an experiment. <laughs> um, uh, obviously, uh, post-COVID experiment, really. Uh, the so I was doing tours for about four years, uh, UK, Europe, and you and worldwide, and then obviously COVID. What's as that? You know, What's yeah, COVID? something. So that that sort of skittled that entirely. So I had to do something, uh, and I'd got the fleet of Australian postal bikes that I brought back from Australia. I've done the guided trip across, and I got the bikes, and I just needed to get moving and do something. So I took out this unit, rented this unit, I uh, got the bikes, got the posties, taking people out on the posty bikes, and then thought good good opportunity with the A2 bikes. You know, people want to ride bikes back to back before buying. I mm -hmm. think there's people, a lot of people, make the wrong buying purchase because they don't have the chance to ride yeah. as many bikes. Yeah. So the idea with the A2 bikes was to offer the four bikes, the Himalayan, CRF, GS, KTM, so you could come down riding back to back. So that that then formed, and then I've got the Interceptors and Continentals. So basically it's a place to come and ride bikes. Mm -hmm. That's the whole point of it. Uh, and essentially keep me busy, hopefully pay my mortgage, and hopefully give people nice days out or, or weekends out. So, so, that's it. Nathan is the world's worst seller of himself. This place is unreal. He knows this place like the back of his hand. Some of those lanes, there's not a chance you would ever take yourself down there on a bike. Unless you watch this video. Unless you watch this video. Come here. He has the bikes, he's got the equipment, he's got the knowledge. Tea. Go with him. He's got tea and look, there's even cake. Who doesn't like cake? Get yourself down here, link down below, Dorothy Speed Shop. Come and have some fun. Right. Thank you so much. Right. No, that was good. I've never seen such genuinely a, such a, I've never seen a big man on such a small bike. <laughs> I can't believe that bike survived. Of course it was. It's going to go around the world that one now. Do it, peeps, do it. Yeah. Do it. Make sure you do it. It's a scream. Details down below. Enjoy. Tell them teapot sent you. Alright folks, keep doing your thing, look after those that you love, but most importantly, live your life. <laughs>